Okay, wow, my computer finally started to work. I don't feel very good, but I've been trying to film this video for probably 30 minutes, so. Hope my computer keeps working. All right, get into it. I'm gonna be doing a spooky day makeup tutorial. <laughs> Basically, um, I love Halloween. Halloween was my favorite holiday growing up, and we are in the month of October. And I am ecstatic because it's Kai's second Halloween. He's going to be either Baby Yoda or Mickey Mouse. Have not decided yet. But anyways, I love Halloween. I love to play that video game, The Sims. So um, I kind of am doing October 2021 Halloween tutorial with the spider web. Spooky day is today, and then tomorrow is a Halloween tutorial with the spider webs, also. Um, and I'm also pre recording some other videos in advance, so you will probably randomly have some um, you know, spider webs under my eyes. <laughs> some future videos. Just know those were recorded in October and they were pre recorded, and that is why they are like that. But, anyways, I love to play the video game Sims. I haven't been playing it lately. I've been watching long plays on YouTube at night, I just kind of like putting long plays on. Loopy long plays here on YouTube. That's literally the channel I just watch at night. Um, I was doing. Some uh, Fable. I don't know if anybody plays that game anymore. <laughs> it was Fable 2 and Fable 3. I watched Fable 3 last night. Long play. I'm probably going to watch Oblivion for a long play tonight. I feel like this isn't hard panned. I think it's literally just scratched off the hard pan. Because Mama does not eat shit today. Mommy does not feel good. I have literally not felt good at all. I ordered myself some food. And I literally ate so fast. Like, you guys have no idea. I used Ideal from the Perfusion Sultry palette today. But I'm really going to be focusing on using the Star Ranch palette. From Jeffree Star. Um, I'm actually posting this tomorrow, I think. So, filmed this on Friday. His mystery boxes released today. I was just gonna get the um, premium, the littlest one, but I think I'm gonna get all three. Just because this is like the last big order I'm gonna do from Jeffree Star for a while. I mean, of course, there's some other places I want to order from, like ColourPop, Inya, really want to get Key Tutorials' line because I really want to support her because I love her. I think her courage of coming out is amazing, even though at the time it was kind of like, you know, yeah, but who cares? Like, it shouldn't be a big thing. That's all I'm trying to say, is that, like, she shouldn't ha have felt pressured to reveal her secrets to the internet. Just because she should have felt, like, in today's society, like, we should just be more accepting of everything. But, yeah, I just drank some water. Um, <laughs> Don't even get me started. But, anyways, I'm using Card Candy's Asteroid today, because... Or not. Ash this asteroid kind of pairs really nicely with the Star Ranch palette because Star Ranch does have some blues and a green in here. But in getting all three mystery boxes, I will have three weirdo palettes. I'm obviously going to keep one for myself and we will see where the other ones go. The other two go. They might be going in a giveaway.
But yeah, I figured, like, this is going to be the last mystery box. I'm probably never going to do this again big with all getting all the mystery boxes. The only reason I'm doing it is because I really want to unbox all of them on my channel. So, yeah. When I'm focusing on, like, eyeshadow, you guys, no joke. Plus, I am not really feeling good today. I'm only filming because I really want to get these next few videos filmed so I can take some time off. Just relax and focus on my baby and my health. mentally and physically type thing. I literally hear Kai making a giant freaking mess in the living room and I know it's my son who just does not get his way and he goes boom, boom, knocks everything down. But yeah, um, just kind of enjoying life right now, I guess. And watching a lot of videos. I am going to be doing an updated Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette ranking just because of the weirdo palette release. I kind of already have an idea of how I'm going to do it and I am going to be including the minis this time. I think the reason I wanted to go ahead and order the other mystery boxes is so I can get the other controversy palettes, even though I don't really want them. It's because I don't really like Shane Dawson. It's Jeffree Star's palettes, and I kind of want to have the whole collection just because I want to have the whole collection. So, I just hear Kai playing right now. Um, yeah, that's going to be fun. I also ranked the Velour lip scrubs. I don't think I've posted that one yet. But I'm also super excited to see what else comes in the other mystery boxes because the other two mystery boxes are sized. And I don't own any Jeffree Star merchandise like clothing wise. But you guys know I'm literally like sick as could be. I'm always in my freaking pajamas so Having like something like a Jeffree Star shirt like that would be perfect for me to sleep in. Perfect. Especially because my son, you know, he obviously falls asleep on me. He has this weird thing where he just doesn't swallow his saliva for some reason. So he just kind of like is like constantly spitting out his saliva. I don't know why. And so when I go to lay him down at night... He's obviously snuggling his mommy, it's a bottle, and the bottle he's drinking, it's got either juice or water or a nutritional drink or regular milk, and it's going in his mouth and going pretty much right out, especially when he's asleep. Like, when he's asleep, he kind of sleeps like, like that, and it's the cutest thing ever. So, I'm literally constantly changing my shirts at night because obviously I have the AC unit in this room for Kai it freezes my ass out but it's for Kai um so basically like I freeze at night which is literally why I'm sitting on a damn heating pad right now because I, I like a little more warmth in my life. Kai is very, very much more warm-blooded than me. His dad's the same way. Um, so, yeah. We compromise and I freeze my ass out. I actually am using the same heating pad that I used when I was pregnant with Kai. Because when I got... Towards the end of my pregnancy, 
um, I have like these like itch spots on my feet and it's the strangest thing ever. So basically, um, I got like little white spots on my feet and they were so freaking itchy. They'd be so itchy. And they went away after I gave birth. My mom was the same way with me. So I'm going to guess like I probably inherited something like genetically from my mom because I had a very similar pregnancy to my mom. When she was pregnant with me, my mom couldn't keep food down and stuff like that. But she wasn't on the medicine I was on. Like we both had tough pregnancies. Like when she had me, she, it was a tough pregnancy. And when I had Kai, it was a tough pregnancy, but it was different. They were different reasons. It was very different reasons that we had tough pregnant. I've been watching a lot of like drama videos from back in the day just because like I'm home right now because I'm having so many issues. And so to pass the time, you know, I work on my YouTube channel. I, um, you know, cook, clean, do all that. But aside from that, I'm also relaxing a little bit just because of all the issues I've been having. So I kind of like, I sit here on the heating pad. I watch some videos. I'm watching a lot of Here for the Tea on YouTube, which is an old drama channel. I don't think she posts anymore. I'm just kind of like going through old drama videos. So if you guys kind of have me talking about like some old Jaclyn Hill or Jeffree Star drama from a few years ago in other videos. That's why, because they were probably pre-recorded in the month of October. And it was on my mind, basically. really love that Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder. The translucent one that I've been using to set my under eyes. So pretty. So pretty. But yeah, um, I've also, like, I have a lot to say on, like, scandals and the con and controversies and stuff like that. I really want to film a The Fall of the Beauty Community video because I have a lot to say. I just have a lot of like different perspective ideas because I've watched so many videos on it. But basically, um, I blame Shane Dawson, which is one of the reasons I don't like Shane Dawson. I think I don't support him, but I definitely think that internet forgave Jeffree Star because of Shane Dawson and Dramageddon. And Jeffree Star took Dramageddon 1 as a win. I think that it ended up turning the beauty community into a very deep and dark place. And I definitely think that I'm a huge fan of Tati, but I definitely think that Dramageddon 2 for Tati did start with gummy vitamins, for sure. But I also feel like she was very manipulated by Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson in that situation. But at the same time, looking at what's going on now and what we know now, like, how do you guys feel about Dramageddon 2? The bi sister scandal? And what's been going on now with James Charles? Because. There has been a lot of accusations thrown around since then. And it's like, not all these people are coming for James Charles trying to ruin his career. Like, not all of them are doing that. Do you think Tati was, like, in the right for doing her James Charles expose video? I... Don't recommend Topsy Speaks Up about this, just from my experience with the law. But I do think that I would love to know what she is thinking right now with the whole situation. Because you know she sees it. 
So I'm very curious as to what she's thinking right now with the whole my sister scandal. And what's been going on right now with all these boys coming out. Because as a mother to a son, I... Hold on. Okay, so I understand James Charles's perspective of wanting love and wanting to find who he's meant to be with for forever and all that stuff. Like, I understand that. That's honestly completely normal. And do I think James Charles is a predator? Honestly, no. I just kind of think that he is not misunderstood, but I think he goes about it in the wrong way, for sure. That's just my opinion, though. I, th I think he does go about it in the wrong way. I think that, yeah, he is probably just normal looking for love. And, I mean, he is younger than me. So it's kind of like, I can't be mad at James Charles because I understand where he's coming from. But as the mother of a young son, it would bother me tremendously. Just open that up the wrong way. But it would bother me tremendously if, you know, that was going on to Kai. Like, Kai was discovering his, you know, his preference like yeah that it does bother me and I'm in no way defending James Charles because I don't think it's right for him to be talking to underage kids as somebody who is a sexual abuse survivor it is very bothersome but at the same time, James Charles is 22, I think. I think he's a year younger than me. And I mean, if you ask me, my personal opinion is that he's not trying to go after kids, guys. He's, he's just looking for somebody close to his age that can love him. And, honestly, Brandon's actually a year younger than me. Brandon's 22. So, I do understand it in that perspective, because with Brandon and I got together. Yeah, he was 19, and I was 20. So it's not like the it's a big age gap, but I kind of understand it in perspective. I'm not in any way defending him. I really hope people won't see it like that because it would bother me so much if Kai was in that situation and he didn't feel comfortable enough to come to me and talk to me about it. That would bother me so much. And I've talked about it with Brandon, and he said that it would bother him. But we do live in a different age now than when Brandon and I were growing up. And it's scary. It's very scary, and it makes me wonder about Kai and how different life will be for him growing up, you know? Like, I want him to think the world is his oyster. He can do anything. But, I mean, all parents are different. All parents don't want the same thing for their kids, obviously. But 
I'm not going to push anything on Kai, just like how I don't really push him to be in my YouTube videos, unless it's a video about him, which is more of a family video. I mean, I have videos of Kai on my computer, just like playing around with family and stuff like that, that I'll never post, because why would I? It's just, I don't know. I keep looking at the time because I'm trying to get the mystery boxes from Jeffree Star. I have not even received my last Jeffree Star order that I did two, literally two weeks ago. Like, come on. <laughs> I want to do more. But I've almost owned, like, literally everything that I could ever want from Jeffree Star. And then I won't be purchasing from him after I order these three mystery boxes until he releases a new collection. Because I literally have everything. And I talked about it. I want to order from Ninja. There's Nikki Tutorials brand. And I'm so sad she hasn't sold out yet. I was kind of hoping like she would. But at the same time, I kind of understand why she didn't. Because we are in the middle of a pandemic. And, you know, life's tough for people. So I understand why she didn't sell out. But, you know, when you think about it back in the day, like, for 2020, with the pandemic and stuff like that, had she came out with this brand, girl would have sold out. Like, she would have sold out, for sure. But I do want to support her, and I'm going to probably get that entrance bundle thing with all the products, just because I want to support her. My only thing that's stopping me right now is that I have so many skincare products and I'm actually in the process of changing my skincare routine, which I need to show you guys what I've changed. I also want to order from ColourPop. Uh, I talked about it in a video that I don't know if it'll be up before this, but I want to get their new um, eye primer, even though I know like you can totally use concealer. I do have an eye primer collection, so that's why I use eye primer, and I want to try ColourPops because I really love ColourPops formulas and stuff. I also want to get the Zodiac little four quad things from ColourPop. I want to get that whole collection. But if you didn't know, when Brandon and I first lived together, I had my favorite ColourPop brush. It was the small fluff brush, which I got because Kathleen Mites recommended it. And I loved that brush. That was like my favorite, favorite, favorite brush. And Brandon, being the sweet, beautiful, amazing man he is, figured he would try to help me when I was cleaning my makeup brushes one day. And he brought them in before they were dry. And he put them where I always put my makeup brushes. And the entire top fell off. And I have not, this was in 2019, I have not been able to repurchase it because it's been out of stock. That brush came back in stock. I'm getting that brush. And then there are a few brushes from my, like, I want from ColourPop that are the Uh Huh Honey. I really want the Uh Huh Honey palette and the Going Coconuts palette. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell, and I will be back with another video soon. See you guys in the next one. Bye!